to the Box of the Lights game channel, we're playing Arkham Horror with the Dunwich Horror expansion. Jacqueline's kicking things off this turn and I'd quite like to get her moving a bit more, so speed up to four. And I think we'll push her fight up to three. Remember her two focus means we can move two. Okay. And we must now roll for her blessing. Remember anything but a one. Six, good stuff. Now Pete, he's not going to move anywhere, but he does have to potentially face off this strange monster here. Which is quite hard to, to fight. Since we're not going anywhere, I'm going to put my sneak up to five. So let's head into the movement turn now with Jacqueline. And she has a speed of four, remember. And she's got one dollar. And I'm just going to go grab this. Because Jacqueline's here at the train station. And for one dollar and one movement point, we can go from the train station to another location with the train station icon, which happens to be in Dunwich, Bishop's Brook Bridge. Okay, we're looking at this icon here. So this tells us that it's joined by rail. So it's one dollar for the rail fare and one movement point. So we're going to move straight here and we've got three movement points left. So I've gone from the station to Bishop's Brook Bridge and with my three remaining movement, I'm going to head over one, two, three. Grab these two clues from Gardner's place. One, two, three. Grab these two clues. So Jacqueline's up to three now, and remember she's also got these research materials, so that's effectively four. As for Pete, he's not going to move. Now, although we know that when you leave a location, you have to try and evade a monster. If you end your turn with a monster, which we are, on movement with a monster, sorry, then you either have to evade it or fight it. So we're going to try and evade it. It's got an awareness of minus two. Well, Pete's Pallid Mask is going to cancel out that minus two with its plus two to evade checks. And with a sneak of five, we have to roll five dice, and we're looking for one success. So that's pretty doable. Five dice. All right, we've got two successes. That'll do. Encounters now. I'm going to start way up here in Dunwich with Jacqueline. She's here in Gardner's place. So we're going to grab one of these location cards, give it a quick shuffle, grab one, and we get a weathered man comes up to you as you approach the gardener's house, introducing himself as Ami Pierce. Well, I already know Ami's left hand. He tells you that it might be wise to steer clear of his house right now and asks if you have anything that might help the family's strange affliction. If you discard one unique item, Ami joins you in gratitude. Take his ally card if it's available. If it's not, remove one Dunwich Horror token from the board. Well, that's a real shame because he's not available and we don't have any Dunwich Horror tokens. So, can't find anything specific about that in the rules. So, I think we're just going to ignore it and assume nothing happens. Okay. Ashkan Pete's encounter now, and he still has the explore token at the witch house, so he's going to try and close this gate. Remember, last turn we failed, and he's going to use his fight of five. Let's try again. So it's five minus two. So we're looking one success from three dice. All right. Come on, this, the odds are kind of good, I think, on this. We failed again. So that's four, four, three. Well, I could spend how many clue tokens have I got? It's got two, four, five. I could have one. I could have a shot at it for one clue token. Let's have a go. This is a bit annoying, but let's try. This is where the game gets really challenging at times. Nah, failed. It's a three. Right, we're going to leave it till next turn again. So it's back to the Mythos phase. And we're going to get one at the Science Building. It's another headline, and that's all right. But we've got a gate opening at the Science Building. So let's draw a gate. You goth. I'm going to lose that clue, and we need a monster here now. 
and there is only four in our canal. Let me get a goat, goat spawn. We must add one to the doom track. Clue appears at the witch house, but there's a gate there, so no clue. Now we move to monster movements. And we have hexagons moving white, and this is the goat spawn. So she's a r got a red border, and those with red borders are fast monsters. So what that means is they get moved twice. So we're going to move twice on the white arrows which is once here to the Mystical Tonic University and then follow the white arrow once more up to the Merchant District. On the black arrows we have the diagonal line, triangles and stars which we don't have so now we resolve the headline and it reads Bizarre dreams plague citizens All gugs and nightgorns in Arkham are returned to the cup if at least one monster returns to the cup, raise the terror level by one. Well, there aren't any on the board, but there is a night gaunt, at least in the outskirts, but in the outskirts doesn't count as in Arkham, so we're good. So ends our turn. First player token moves to Ashcan Pete. Join me next time and we'll see if he can finally close and seal that gate. <laughs>